Hey guys, I had a great time playing some Miracle Rogue tonight. I've been wanting to, now that I've done with my Masters, uh, Grand Masters this week, and I've got Masters, i got to expand my horizons. I've been playing a ton of Mage for Specialists, uh, but played some Miracle Rogue today, and this list runs a double broomstick. Um, the original list that Nada made that I kind of changed two cards, it's, ba it's his list, uh, ran double Swashburglar. I'm, I'm still not sure about the Swashburglars, but I cut them uh, to add another Guardian Arg Merchant, and I think that's absolutely the right choice. But I've been experimenting with a, a one of Spy Mistress. Uh, not sure about that. Uh, Swashburglar is the time-tested choice, but I kind of like the, Swash the Spy Mistress. It's just... Sometimes I was finding, like, I just don't really like a lot of the Swashburglar cards, and it can contest some early board and be used for things like a Swindle play or something like that on three. Uh, but, but yeah, overall, I feel this list is it's really interesting, and the more I play it, the better I get at it. It's actually really hard. Uh, what you're kind of doing often is um, you're really emphasis on cycle because you have both Ticket Masters and Mancricks. And I'm shadow stepping mancrips like crazy in like this. Uh, you could do the Alex Strada lethals, but I feel like it's almost better to just, when you have an opportunity, to just go mass mancric to do it. Um, just to keep the tempo going. Uh, so, but yeah, I really am enjoying this list. Uh, I, I have, I think, like slightly above a 50% win rate, which is not that great. But I was doing bad at the beginning. I kind of climbed back to 50%. I think I was like one above 50% at the end. So it's it's a nice, it's very hard. Um, it's not the easy, I don't think it's the easy legend deck. Uh, you know, I'd say, you know, try out Rush Warrior, try out No Minion Mage, Face Hunter. Uh, those tend to be the easy legend. This is like the, I really want to play some Rogue. Uh, I think I find Field Contact is a really interesting card. Um, Mulligans for this deck are ridiculously complicated other than keep efficient octobot um i'm sometimes keeping field contact especially in value heavy matchups or especially if i have efficient octobot in hand uh price plunder is sometimes to keep especially in like a if you're playing like a paladin uh or something where they're going to get on board you need to contest board really fast uh price plunder can be a keep um but yeah and uh man crick is generally keep and that's just about it uh it's very i, I also keep spy mistress and i run it but it's it's a lot of times you're looking for the synergy and trying to figure out okay what my opponent's doing i had like i said the stats aren't really clear it's not the mulligans are really really tricky in this so sorry i don't have a great answer other than keep efficient octobot uh but anyways uh i got some really fun games for you guys uh this isn't really a full guide just like a little bit intro uh but it's it's a lot of fun um so i got some games for you guys highlighting this deck does. Remember, we can do ticket masters and we can rush stuff in. There's a lot of just really cool stuff you can do that you can't do in normal because you have the brooms. So, which also have synergy with your field contact. So, anyways, got some games. Hope you guys enjoy. Ooh, this is very good. I mean, we 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 just need a freaking uh. We really just need, um... A field contact here, and we're in a really good spot. Yeah, field contact would be great here. I'm gonna wait another turn before I play this. He has arrived! <laughs> okay. Next turn. But 
No power of the wild, please. We actually can crush this, because... Yeah, our Guardian Art Marches go through this. Oh, this is fantastic. This is just so fantastic. I think maybe it's Brain Freeze or Tenwin here. I think it's Tenwin. Tenwu is um, another battle cry, guaranteed. Brain Freeze is not. So, uh, Brain Freeze is really good too. Actually, yeah, I can Brain Freeze and Wicked Stab here. To get, um... Oh my god, alright. My plays pay off. System. Guys, we gotta stop the system. <laughs> system. System. <laughs> Heartbreak is a wonderful price to pay. We came so far through all we can ask. We found a love, even the stars between us won't marry us. I swear, I want to get discounts on like field contact cards here. I just feel like it's too ready for efficient. Uh, oh, I do have the Alex Charles in hand now. Uh, I could just bite the bullet here. Bite it. Um, two. This place is really nice. But... Play around the stereo. Dang. Whoever Shadow Step Manker, that's the question. Get more wives. They also could just get this. I could just hella discount Alex Straza, but Shadow Step with Alex Straza and Tenmu can be the game winning, like this full OTK, so. Ooh, now maybe I can get this, like, both the, the seven and I could do. A crap ton on turn eight. Yeah. Mm.
Do I rather have draw here though? I think I, I think I'd rather have draw. Even though. Kill my field contact, they're insane. Wait, you gotta kill my field contact, right? In what world would they possibly not kill my field contact? Really? I did not expect that. Okay. Well, what do I do now? I think I still. There a bunch of my shit in here. System. Win. <laughs> Ooh, good play. Very strong play. Okay. All right. But the rigged fair game. All right, we're gonna get some wipe, hot, hot wipe action. I can feel it. Just freaking OTK them next turn. We can do we yeah we can just full OTK next turn guys. Like full freaking OTK. Full freaking OTK guys. It's gonna be insane. On turn eight, you guys ready? Are you ready? Hope you're ready. Hope they don't have. Uh... Before Lucia, I know, right? <laughs> Honestly, though, here's oh, the yeah, Lucia is really sad. But, uh, three Strazas and a zero mana Wicked Stab. It's gonna be great. Look, they never Lucia with nine cards here. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, it's Robo Dog, dude. Robo is a regular, the sub on the stream. I got, I, I, I gotta, I gotta DM him. I gotta.
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's fantastic. Turn 8, by the way. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> uh, I feel like I look for field contact when you go fishing. Like a, you got field contact, it's pretty good. There's no two attack minions. Two attack minions into Aldor can win the game here. Oh my god. All the keeps here. No two attack minions. Uh, this is so bad that I can just lose the hand of it all here. I don't I feel like I should play around it. I don't know. Like, he's got two other kept cards. Like, what are you freaking keeping when you have two hand first day of schools? What are you keeping if it's not a hand of the doll? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they always have it here. That's just my 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 instinct. Um, I don't think I win. I feel like I don't win. No, oh, this is work, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so awkward. I'm just gonna do the easy play here. Tempo. Guess I should just play the fish into here. Maybe I like they still haven't gone hand of a doll yet, you know? Like maybe I just play into it here. Maybe I just take the risk. I actually could go Janda's room. It's actually kind of insane if they discount this. Did they get there? Yeah, they freaking got there. Oh my god. Shenanigans next turn. We can beat the, if he runs the 5 mana card that buffs something up ridiculously, we can actually beat that. He might run that, I don't know. Interesting. I might just go Jandis here. Wait for him to commit, because I would love to go Brain Please, Freeze, plus Snap. I want him to play a big minion. Alright Dizzy, I'm a, I'm a little bust. I'm in a mood where I just need to play good Hearthstone, and I need to focus. Okay, I can beat this.
Alright, I think I'm gonna... I feel like I actually go secret passage here to try no 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 this is that possible. Stop being Do I have any more brain creatures in my deck? No, I do not. I have two prize players in my deck. I'm just gonna go past the chain. Oh. Did I hit one? This is garbage. I get to take near. My mistress, um, if this the last thing that I do, I make sure that I get through to you. I wonder, guys, do you think if there was a 5 mana 310, if it would be C play? Play this poorly, but it's okay because this is probably a winning position.
We'll probably save Tenmo then, but I think we're gonna win this game, so that's okay. Probably should have, like, it was probably a wicked stab line. That was better there. Yeah, I think you're right, Cameron Q. Put them down to. I could set up a two turn. There's interesting, interesting choices here. Actually, I think I go Jandis Broom. That's got to be the line. Like I can kill this. Like and then I. Yep, if I go face Alex to the next lethal next turn, but I think we're better off just not risking it there. Um, but yeah, we could we could set up a mostly guaranteed two turn there, but I do not think it is worth the risk. Um, but we'll see. A strong play. Okay. Um, I think I just Alex the seven five here. a good top deck because it draws a whole deck. Remember, like this is his only real good AoE, I think. He put another taunt in the way um, with another weapon. Um, make it things awkward. So we're trying to think. Ticketmaster is the worst top deck. Um, Efficient Octobot actually really bad too. So we have two bad top decks. Wicked Stab is a good top deck, I think. They can get through a taunt. Um, Zak is a good top deck. Secret Passage is literally top decking everything, so that's a good top deck. Um, oh, wow, it actually wrecked me. Oh my god, I don't have it. I don't have it here, dude. I have to trade. He gets me here. Oh my god. Yeah. 
I think we got this. We got the win here. Is it double? Wait, maybe not. Maybe you don't. I mean, conviction would just be lethal, so. Uh, you can go to trade, trade here, or you can go trade, trade there. The only play, it's nine off the board. I only have 15. No, no, I have hero power, so it's lethal. He has to trade. He has to trade with the 8 9. He doesn't have another. Like, yeah, this is just always loses. Um. No, 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 he actually. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm not done on the board. You're right. So, back up there. It's a fast amalgam there. It'll do a lot of pain. Oh, he's curving out so fast here. This is very bad. This is very bad. Okay. Maybe we're supposed to go through the passion there. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Oh, I beat this. I'm not dead next turn though, so... I got, I got one more turn to make shit happen, guys. Alright. Oh, I should have kept track of how many cards I had in my hand there. That's actually a very big mistake. This is <coughs> actually super good. Because I could just delay for a turn with this cone of cold. That we overdraw, which is unfortunate. But unnecessary cost survival. Works, guys. All right. Sleep well. Leave me alone.
Ding. He doesn't have a clear on this. Wait, really? Okay. Wait, what? How did he kill this? Oh, I see. Okay, makes sense. Okay. Hope we can beat this. is ultimate value to be valuable. Alright, I'm not sure if I actually needed that heal there, but it does make my life a little bit safer feeling, you know? I should be a little bit safer knowing that I'm not dead to like <laughs> some random bullcrap. Which is their entire hand. Like, they have, like, they, every card in their hand is a sec Vile Weaver card. Except for the top deck. situation here. I'd love to get like a field contact off the top here. I think I throw away this weird stab. Need the um and then I can Next turn I can go evocation if I don't get a good top deck um, and just try and get some value out of that. And then we have, um, we're always threatening 16 burst now, so like, they, they don't, uh...
This is interesting. Um, I could just go flame strike here. And like, I don't know, I'm wondering if I have like a fancy play with Tenwu here, but I flame strike my default play here. Um, I also could do double snap freeze to kill one of these. Another option. I think I'm probably going to end up going just encanters and uh, flame strike. That's good enough to play here. All my other plays just aren't coming in here. I guess I could get ten room and play this. I don't have a way to play them. Oh, I missed a great play. So. I could have gone a Tenwu there, and um, and then put this back, then played Guardian Art Merchant, and then I could have, uh, this might not have actually been a winning play, but it would have, would have been cool. <laughs> Alright, give me a passage off at the top, or a field contact please. That's for me. Ugh, this I think it's, that would be a lot of first. I feel like I have to kill this. Like I don't feel like I win with um I'm wondering if this is to be safe or something else or if I just do two of them right now. I guess I do save it here. Maybe I don't. I can do 8 to face here, I think that's my good actually. No, 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 I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep this on board. Yeah, just not. We need, we need some of the stick. Maybe it was. <coughs> Maybe it was. No, no, that, that's um, that's a uh, that's an eleven mana lion Lega. So we can't do that. Um, no, 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 it wasn't. Sorry, we could have done that. Um, I don't know. No. Um, I don't think we can win this. We just don't have um. Like, he has, but maybe he is just like an atrocity of a hand here. Just draws us a one spell, which is, uh... Passage, which... Like, is this ever useful, actually? It's just never even, doesn't it ever really matter? Might as well play him here. Go all in here, hope they don't have it. Sometimes they don't have a stereo here, right? <laughs> Dude, there's, there's a lot of awkward situations in here, son. It's like awkward situations in real life where there's not like this clean solution. You know what I mean? Like, wait, we just win. Oh, baby, how did we win this game? Dude, they must have the most awkward hand ever. Let's go. Let's go. 